everyone. So today I'm going to show you several ways that you can format and formulate your pixel art activity to fit your own needs. So let's get started. So here I have uh, my completed pixel art image that is ready to format and also formulate. So when I set up my activity sheet, if I want my cells, the spaces, to be larger than the actual pixel art, I'm going to merge my cells. So I'm going to um, highlight the areas that I want to merge. I plan on inserting a picture, so I'm going to merge this section to insert a graph. So I'm going to highlight the sections I want to merge, and I'm going to then I also want space for my answers, so I'm going to merge these sections. And then I also want space to write my question, so I'm going to merge here. So I can keep doing that until I have as many questions that I want. In this space, I want to write question. In this space, I want to write answer. Okay, so once I'm done, if I wanted to insert an image into my pixel art activity, say I want to insert my image in this space, I can just go to insert, click image, image info, and then find the image that I want. Okay, so as you can see, the image doesn't fit the cell all the way. So what I can do is I can increase my merge. Okay, then I'm going to highlight the section that I want to include in the merge and merge until I see it's the size that I like. I can also unmerge the space by clicking this merge cell again and it will unmerge the space. Uh, and then maybe I'll remerge it to make it less wide. Okay, and then I can format it. Okay, so now I'm ready to create my question. So right now I have my question and answer section formatted. So what I like to do is I like to format one row of my question and answer. Once I like the way it's formatted, um, so for example, I like everything centered and then I also go to format and make sure that the text wrapping wraps and not overflows so that it wraps around inside the cell and change my font maybe to 18. Once I am happy with the way it looks, I like to test it out. Okay, so this needs to be centered also. If I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm just going to copy the whole row, and then I'm just going to paste however many rows I need. So in this case, I'll just use three. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm ready to input my formula. To set my conditional formatting, all I do is click on the box where I want my answer to be part of the formatting, and also click on the pixels of the color I want it to correspond to. In this case, I want to use blue, so I'm going to hold my command key or control key and then click on the pixels I would like to include in this conditional formatting. And once I'm done, I just click on the paint bucket, and go down to conditional formatting, and from here I'm going to choose my custom formula is equal and it's going to pertain to the letter O and then 13. That's the top left-hand corner of my merged cell. So it would be dollar sign O, dollar sign 13 equals, and then I'm going to just choose one since I don't have a question created, and I'm going to change this to blue. And 
if I wanted to change my text color, I would just change it here. But I am just going to leave it the way it is, so um, I don't do anything to it. So I'm just going to click Done. For my question two, I decided to use a text, so I put that in quotation. Now, if you want to use a multiple choice drop down as part of your answer, what you would have to do is go to Data, Data Validation, and then you're just going to choose List of Items from the drop down, and then you're going to just enter your list of items separated by a comma. In this case, I'm just going to use multiple choice, um, letters, A, and then show drop down in cell, and click Save. And then if I were to check, now I have A, B, C, D. And then I could format that as my answer choice. Once I have formatted all my cells, I can then reset my color. So I tested them all out and have found that they all work. So what I'm going to do is just highlight my cells. And then go to the Paint tool and click Reset. So my colors are reset, so if I delete all my answers, my pixel art image disappears. So say I have an already formatted pixel art activity and I wanted to add more questions to it. So if I wanted to add more questions to it, I'm going to just copy the question row but not the answer row. So I'm going to copy and paste. So the reason why I do this is because I don't want to paste the conditional formatting into my new question because then they will be connected. So I'm just going to decide that I want to have two extra questions. Okay, and then I can just merge uh, more cells to add more rows and format my cells. Again, I like my text to wrap. Okay, then once I like that new answer box I created, I'm just going to copy and paste it. And now I have two extra questions. So now I can choose which pixels I want to split up. As you can see, the red has a lot of pixels, so I might decide to split those. So what I'm going to do is go into the red, click on the answer box that corresponds to the red color click on the paint, and I'm going to click on conditional formatting. I'm going to click in here, and then I'm just going to decide to delete some ranges. So I want to make sure that I don't delete O19 to U21. So here's O19 and U21. I want to leave that there. I can go to the end. The reason why we don't want to delete that range is because that's the answer box that corresponds to question three. We want to leave that there. So I'm just going to go to the end and maybe delete from here on. Um, I want to make sure that I only delete between commas and not colons because colons refer to the range. So I'm going to end at a comma. So here, and then I'm just going to click Cut. So that takes those pixels out of this group. And now I'm going to click in this box. And then I'm going to add my rule. So I'm going to click here, make sure I'm clicked in this box. Click on the paint and the conditional formatting. Now I have my new range, my new answer box. I'm just going to put a comma and then paste. When you go to paste, make sure you put a space because then it doesn't delete that comma. And then I'm going to paste what I just cut. And now I'm going to write my custom formula again equals change. So now I have added extra answers. If you ever want to change your mind and want to delete the data validation, you just click on the box, go to data, data validation, and then just click remove validation. So what if you want to take away 
the number of questions. So taking away the number of questions is easier than adding more questions, in my opinion. Um, so if I wanted to take away questions four and five, what I would want to do is I would just click on the answer box for question four. And since it's the same color as question three, I'm going to click on the paint tool and I'm going to click on conditional formatting. And from here, I'm going to change my custom for formula to instead of O22, I'm going to change it to O19 to correspond to question three. And I also have to remember to remove the range for the answer box as well, since we don't want that to show up either. So this is O22 to U24, so it's here. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to do the same for my other box. Don't forget to also change your answer to match the answer in, in the box for question three as well. Since it's text, I'm going to put it in quotation. And then we'll just reformat this as well. So as you can see here, something happened. My cell didn't light up, and the answer is here. A is written. So if I need to figure out why my cells aren't lighting up, all I need to do is highlight the whole image, click on the paint tool, and then click on conditional formatting to see what's wrong with my conditional formatting. And it will highlight the range of cells that correspond to that conditional formatting. So this looks OK. This looks OK. This, I can see that when I changed it, I forgot to change my answer to correspond to the actual cell. So I'm just going to click on this formula and then change it to A. And now it's lit up. OK, so now everything looks good. And then I can remerge these cells, delete these, remerge the cells. And now I have taken away some questions. OK, so now what if I wanted to change the answers to customize my own answers? Instead of the answer being 1, I want to change it to 0. And I will click on the answer box. Click on the paint tool, click on conditional formatting. Here, I'm going to change it to zero. So keep in mind that zero, even though it's a number, it will require quotation. So if you're going to change it to zero, you need to put it in quotes. OK, now I can test it to see if it works. So you will notice when I entered zero, it it, the blue didn't light up, and even though I uh, put zero in the answer, in my custom answer. If this happens, you just go to the one, two, three, and instead of automatic, click on plain text. Now it works. Okay, same thing here. If I want to change it instead of to one, maybe I want to change it to a fraction. So I'm going to choose one half. Okay, and see if it works. Again, if it doesn't light up, I just go to the one, two, three, change it to plain text, and now it works. If you want to add some extras, maybe you want to add a GIF, something that's moving. Okay, once you have found your GIF and you have downloaded it, um, you can click on insert, click on image. You're go going to click image over cells and then find it on your desktop. And then you can move it wherever you like. And lastly, if you happen to have a pixel art image that you created from using the pixel art add-on or another program like I have here, you will notice if I click on the fill tool, you will see that there are a lot of custom colors. If this is the case, I do not want to 
conditional format based on color. Instead, I'm going to conditional format and make it a one color overlay over the cells. To do that, what you would do is you would still do the same process. You would click on the answer box, randomly click on the cells that you want to change, or you could click on a wide range of cells that you want to change. Once you have selected yourself, you would just, again, you can either go to the fill tool and scroll all the way down to conditional formatting. If that's too much, you can just go to format and then conditional format. If you look in my conditional formatting for my cells, you will see that I use a different custom formula. So in this case, I still refer to the box where where I want my answer input, but instead of using an equal sign, I'm using these brackets. This means if the answer is not one in this box, then my custom color is white. So then there will be a white overlay. I can choose whatever color I want, to, and I will keep the same color for the whole image. If I highlight my pixel art image and you look at my conditional formatting, it's all the same color. I just kept it all white. So then when I delete my answers, the correct answers, it turns to white. Okay, and then when I put in all the correct answers, the white goes away and the color returns. I formatted for the color change to be green. If you don't like green or you want to use other colors, you don't have to go into the conditional formatting in these answer boxes to change the conditional formatting color. Instead, you just go to the fill color and then choose whatever color you want to use instead. And you could change it all you want instead of going into the conditional format. And that's the different ways that you can format and reformat a pixel art activity. And that's it. Thank you for watching.